hello guys welcome back to the channel i'm glad you're here my name is alex and if you're new here feel free to subscribe we're doing a lot of cool stuff here as you might know if you watched my last video i'm currently developing a course on very same topic on how to make platformer by this moment it has more than 15 hours of pure useful and structured information that allows you to develop a platformer with the cool different mechanics and features and this video is a kind of a sneak peek from the course but i decided that i want to share so let's get into it all right so what i want to show you here is how to make auto tile system it has its own benefits obviously and it has some minor cones but anyway i think you should know how to use it because in general when you're making bigger game and you need to draw lots of levels it's very useful and powerful tool to make your work faster and this is what we want to do here we want to learn how to make games but not only make games but do it efficient and cool all right so to begin with let's go to tile palette folder that we have and create here 2d create 2d tiles rule tile all right and i'm gonna name this as a uh, rule sand we're gonna use this one yeah now what we want to do here is click lock it over here so when this locket is clicked no matter what you choose inspector won't change we have this file in the inspector let's go to graphics folder terrain and find the sand tiles uh, it's kind of a mess here, but we cannot do anything about it, so let's just find them. I'm going to take the first one, this corner. I'm going to take this one as an example. I'm going to take this corner and drag it over here. Now I'm going to add tile and rules over here. Let's make them nine over here. Yeah. Now we have nine tiles that we need to set up. I'm going to drag first one, this left corner, then the middle top. Then a top right corner. Then let's find uh, sides of it. So this is the right side. This is the middle. This is the left side. Now let's go and find um, bottom parts. Yeah. This is a bottom right side. The bottom part and uh, <clears throat> bottom left part. Sorry. Yeah. And now our task is to tell the Unity what's supposed to be from the sides of this tile and then unity by itself will do the magic by the way if you don't have this window over here just drag these two lines like that and you'll see it okay so it's actually easy to set up let's think about this this is the left corner if you look to this side you can see that from the left side of the corner there is nothing that can be there and there is nothing and there is nothing but from the right side bottom side and bottom right side there might be something so this one we're gonna set up here just click once to make a green arrow so it says that we can extend tile here but if you click twice there's gonna be a red cross that says we cannot extend here like that very simple now this is the top part and there can be nothing on the top but there can be from the left right and to this side just like over here you see now top right side guess what we need to do here yeah we need to put arrows over here and red stuff over here and this is how it is this is how we need to set it up just like that this is the right side this is a middle so middle can be surrounded from all the all of the sides like that this is the bottom corner and if nothing is chosen here just like this it means that we don't know there might be something there might be not so we're given an options to choose right the bottom part like that and this is the uh, bottom left corner so like this like that like that cool now if we go to the assets tile palette and drag this one to the tile palette like that we can use it to draw tiles i'm gonna select rectangle tool choose this as a brush and look what's going to happen Ta -da! magic now we don't need to choose corners by ourselves it's gonna do it automatically and this is very useful and powerful you have to agree with me but what is the issue here the issue is that exactly this 
uh, tile set doesn't have corners so if I try to make platform like this you see what's going to happen it looks really bad it's not supposed to be like that it is because we don't have corners and there is nothing we can do about it unless we draw corners for this one exactly but if you can just draw uh, straight platforms it's going to be fine it's going to be okay now how do we make stuff with corners luckily for us this one has corners so we can use it to make a tile set with the corners i'm going to show you how to right now so let's create another one here create 2d tile rule tile i'll make it a rule wood and check this locket then select rule wood and click the locket now let's set number nine to begin with okay and we're gonna set up it the same way i'll speed up video a little bit but later on i'm gonna post the results so you can see it yeah graphics okay it's kind of done and uh, pause the video and repeat the settings if you need to if you didn't do it by yourself and now i'm going to show you how to add corners right now if we draw it like that oh wait i need to go to tile palette drag it over here oh we didn't by the way i didn't choose default sprite this is what i supposed to do so let's go to graphics my bad i'm sorry find corner and put it over here now we have default sprite here and then in tile palette drag it here yeah now i can select it and draw with it it's gonna be okay straight platforms now i'll try to combine this and it looks kind of okay but still not good enough okay so we need to change it what we're we gonna do here we're gonna go over here uh, to the graphics terrain and we need to add for more here. Now I have four empty spots that I need to fill up. Not quite empty, but it's okay. Yes, <clears throat> I did it. Sorry, because these sprites are quite confusing, so it's not easy to find a corner. For this one but i did it all right so uh, you can pause the video and copy the settings uh, this is the bottom left corner this is the bottom right corner this is a top right corner and this is a top left corner and this is how we use it and now if i take this brush and i draw it around no matter how i do it still you can draw platforms yeah right but this one requires to have corners it's very important so for example this one cannot be used like that because there is no proper corner if i try to show you that i'll just select it and i'll draw it in here look i put it in the corner it fits the corner but it is blue background so all of the background should be blue to use these corners so it cannot be quite used here but or this one there is no proper corner to fit in to make these kind of a platforms but if you make them even just like rectangular shape then it's okay then it can be used oh what did i do my bad yeah then it can be used fine in a proper way i'll draw the level i deleted here before something like that and even if you decide to take a regular brush and insert something here it will behave like that it will allow you to put stuff inside but not always you can see the issue here for example yeah all right thanks for paying attention subscribe so i'll keep you updated leave the comments if you have any questions and please check out the link for my endless runner udemy course and i'll see you in the next video bye